What is going on? My reefing fam, March here. This is Fragbox TV. I am extremely jet lagged. My dog is sleeping. I want to be sleeping. Oh, look who's out. If it isn't Twinkie, our beautiful little yellow mantis shrimp, just living the life peacefully. Oddly enough, look with this fish, he's just doing his thing. I freaking love this guy. I should start a whole channel just dedicated to Twinkie because I'm in love with a shrimp. I never thought it would happen. You like our glowing lights? I don't know. Uh, I hope you do. What is new? What is up? Why am I tired? I just got off a flight from Korea. I'm back from Asia. I shot some really, really cool content there. I cannot wait to start editing that and sharing with you guys. I think single-handedly the coolest shop like this one I have ever, ever visited. I have never seen anything like it. Aesthetically, it's the most beautiful, well thought out, just the coolest concept. It's a cafe in South Korea, and it's my dream is to buy this. Ah, I was about to swear, I don't swear kids. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name's March. This is a store here in Toronto that specializes in saltwater aquariums, and I don't swear on the channel because I want little kids to fudge nutting enjoy this thing. I want to cut a hole in the wall and open a cafe next to that, uh, to Fragbox. That's my dream. But the bar is uh, over there and through the wall. These guys in Korea have done it. I cannot wait again to share that video with you. It's just incredible. Uh, a couple other really cool stores, a Red Sea. Hello, Red Sea. Shout out Red Sea, Red Sea, Red Sea. How many times can I say Red Sea in this video? I know some of you listen to me on super fast. So Red Sea, Red Sea, Red Sea, Red Sea. You guys make great products. If you're looking for an all-in-one kind of setup aquarium with the overflow, with the plumbing, with the sump, this is what you should be looking for. They don't pay me to say that. They don't pay me, no one pays me shit, okay? No one pays me anything, we ain't sponsored by anyone. If you ever see the little sponsored ad um, at the beginning of the videos, Reef Casa, that's our brand, so um, they don't sponsor us. But why am I saying Red Sea? Because we went to a Red Sea showroom. I didn't even know that was a thing. It happened to be across the street from the shop and the whole store, imagine a store like this, retail setting, but dedicated to showing off every single Red Sea model, all running wet displays. What do I mean when I say wet display? This is a dry display. This is a wet display. So typically stores will be a combination of the two. It was really, really smart, really cool. And I can't wait to, again, share that video with you. What did I find in Japan? I came back with so many ideas. This is why I love traveling. One is for finding stupid little things like this that I just fall in love with. It's a squeegee. Okay, maybe you thought it was a Monstera. It's not. It is a Monstera made of plastic, but it is also a squeegee. So my crazy ADHD, OCD, nonsense brain starts thinking, Damn, we need a Reef Casa squeegee made exactly to the length of this in a funky design so that you can just shoop, swipe it across and clean your glass. So that is now in the works. Huh, what are all these boxes here? Hmm, frag box, always boxes. I'm gonna talk to you about boxes. Two very important things about boxes. One, first thing about boxes is what is inside the box. Okay, let's open it up. This is it. Reef Casa towels. So maybe you've seen in some of the posts, we were prototyping them. How do you prototype a towel? I'll show you. Um, these are to clean your glass, but also we have one that kind of goes around the edge of the tank. So like a water change towel to keep your floors from getting wet. And it's cut out just for this, our studio aquarium here. So super exciting towels. Did you ever think you'd be watching this episode and you'd be so excited for towels? I didn't and I am now. Second is if you're looking for one of these tanks and you live in the UK, go to Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. He's got them in stock. AAC. Hit up Fall. Paul, not Fall. Fall is a month, not a person's name. Maybe your name is Fall. My name's March. His name's Paul. He's a wanker and you can tell him that I think he's a cunt. You can tell him right to his face and that, ah, damn it, I said I wasn't going to swear. I'm a liar. Okay, so Second thing about boxes, going through Asia, going through Japan and Tokyo and Kyoto, what apparently now is my favorite city in the whole freaking world. I didn't know that was a thing. Osaka, South Korea. Presentation is so important and so emphasized there. And I feel like this store, you know, it is kind of good once you get into it. We do this far too often. It doubles as a retail shop. A coral farm, we have our checkout counter, my dog's bed, a packing station over here, shipping and receiving is all done within this tiny corridor of, you know, six feet space. It's, it's ridiculous. And if you ever walked in the store, it's not uncommon to be bombarded with boxes. It is a really small shop, but this is pure laziness on my part. It doesn't have to happen. So I want the whole entrance. Of, what is this? Look at the shelves. Who stocked this? What is it? We have a fluval lid. 
It looks like uh, uh, this came out of Afghanistan. I have black mold on the walls. I have paint chipping there at the bottom. Canada post boxes, towels that the owner is getting excited about. Then we move into some discombobulated Fauna Marin junk products because I don't even like this stuff. I'm okay, it's not that bad, I'm, but I am taking it off the shelves. It's, it's okay, it is okay. That's another video to talk about that stuff. But anyways, we have some lids, empty, uh, that, a fish, and it just looks like, okay, if we stand from here, I'm giving you kind of the viewpoint into my eyes. This, this view looks nice. Uh, above, see this box, you're looking at your screen? If you're driving, keep driving. Stop watching Fragbox TV, it's not the time. So, you see this? Look, that looks nice. This is not nice, this is not, the sort, those are mouse traps. Those are freaking mouse traps. Why do I have mouse traps on the floor when you walk in? Why do I have mouse traps? I'm gonna ask me again, myself. Why do I have mouse traps? Because I had mice at home and I don't have the heart to kill them, so I bought these on Amazon. And these are humane mouse traps. They work <laughs> incredibly well. Every night that I'd set one up, I'd catch a mouse, but I would bring them to the store to show the staff and then release them in the dumpsters behind the store. So that's my long winded story. Then it shouldn't be here. This should not be how the store looks ever. This needs to be a clean, welcoming, inviting space that brings you, draws you into the store. Come here, come take my hand, walk with me and your wallet over to the cash register and we can take all your savings. That is how the store is designed, to pull you in. See where the register is? That should be the first thing that grabs your eye, is a really nice salt water tank. These should all be set up, which they will be. The problem is, because of the ADHD, I got so many projects on the go and I keep changing the goddamn sizes of Reef Casa. But finally, 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 we have settled on at least four sizes that we don't ever expect to change. Because it's a new company and brand, we're coming out with different models. We're sort of testing the market. I didn't know, unbeknownst to me, because I'm a newbie when it comes to selling tanks, that this is gonna be our most popular, our 22 or 24 gallon, not the 18. The difference is only a couple inches. I thought we were gonna to sell tons of little tanks, which we do, we sell a lot, but people keep asking for bigger ones. So I'm learning as we go. As those are solidified, now I feel confident setting one up. I don't wanna set up a tank just to take it down and say, oh, well, actually, this is the 18 gallon, but we no longer make it, so can you buy this instead? No, now I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident in the brand. It's been almost two, two and a half years, and we've sold a couple thousand of them now, so we're good. We'll set those up, but this space is just hideous. I am embarrassed, completely embarrassed with myself that I've allowed it to even look like this for a second. The shelves should be stocked. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done berating myself. How are we going to do that? How are we going to take, because this still has to happen. We still need to ship. <clears throat> Don't kick. It's stupid. It says fragile. Why are you kicking it? Um, we still need to ship boxes. We still need the space. So I'm going to try and make what I started doing today is the most out of this backspace. Completely jet lagged. I haven't slept and I've just been so excited to come back and clean. That's what happens when I travel. I get so inspired. Maybe you've never seen back here. There's a little, little hallway. We used to have our wall right there and I moved it back almost 10 feet and created this wall and now we have a place just for some storage but it's really just a catch-all disastrous area and I want to utilize this as our shipping and receiving hallway. So I'm going to make a, a stand here for different sorts of boxes, FedEx, UPS, Campar, Canada Post, all that stuff and this is where all that nonsense that you saw in the front, I'm just going to hide it. It should really never be shown. All of this overstock little itty bitty pieces, we're gonna bring them downstairs to the basement, which you guys also don't get to see. And I'm so grateful, thank you God, for this basement because it gives us so much space to, let me just turn on the lights because you guys don't get to see this very often. We grow coral and we can also store all of our junk, all the stuff. This is like all of our Reef Casa stuff over here, some packaging stuff. Um, this is a grow out for some corals in here We keep just a bunch of zoas and other soft corals that we're selling our hard corals over on this side But we have this whole wall Look, that's not really being used. This is housing our reef casa tanks This is usually full, but we're low on models. Look at this whole wall is just begging for a piece Let's turn on the lights because it feels weird here in the dark and the basement's haunted This needs proper shelving floor to ceiling for all that stuff I just showed you in the back hallway not a toolbox beside a mop on a tank next to no no This is not how it's done. So I always say in the channel do as I say don't do as I do Don't look at what I do. Why am I using an accent? Don't um 
do as I say, don't do as I do. Okay, let me take you back upstairs, because I don't like being down here alone late at night, because there's a ghost in the basement. I, you know what, whatever it is, it's friendly. It just hides stuff. It's just kind of a, it's not, it's not a haunting. It's more of like a friendly annoyance. It's like a kid brother that's dead and lives in the basement. But anyways, that is where my mind is at. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. The second thing, if that isn't enough, man, why do I do this to myself? Why don't I just be happy with the way the store looks and stop doing projects? I wish it was daytime, but it's not, it's nighttime. It's daytime in my mind because I'm jet lagged. That's why I have so much energy right now. These signs suck. If you've ever been here, I'm redoing all these signs. You can't really see them. Look at this, janky. I kind of like that one that it just says corals because we don't get a lot of foot traffic off the street. Actually, virtually none. Nobody's gonna walk in off the street and say, oh, hi, I need some Acropora. This is very, very rare. Hey, once or twice a year, someone will drive by and say, oh, I didn't know you were here. But generally, this is a destination store. People are coming from literally all over the world. We get probably one or two American customers a week that come here to buy and they take corals home. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you're allowed. I'm just saying they do it. They throw it in their car and they drive it back and don't declare. But we get people literally all over the world that stop by. If you're ever in Toronto, just want to come say hi, hit us up. So step one, inside, because that's very important. Step two, outside, new banners, new um, stuff on the front. I may need some graphic design help if you're out there and you want to pitch in and give us a, give us some help. I'm happy to pay for it, but I want to really spruce up the outside and do three banners, one of them Fragbox, one of them YouTube, one of them Reef Casa, and break it up. And um, that's just where my mind's at. The next thing I'm going to do is set up these tanks. I want to give one to each of the staff, but I'm also a little bit of a control freak and I micromanage, so uh, we'll see if I can give up control to them. Like this one over here, I feel a little bad because Eli asked me very specifically, March, can I please take care of Twinkie and his tank? And I said, yeah, absolutely, man. I want to see what you can do. And then I got a little psycho and then this happened and I just went to town on it and now it's basically done. So I might have to get, wow, you're really not shy today. You're really, really out and about and saying hello to, you're probably one of the most famous shrimp that's ever lived. Many people are watching you. They never thought they'd be watching you. I never thought I'd be watching you. I never thought to keep a mantis, but you know what? He's, he's friendly, look at these. I have two fish now. I have this, a uh, zebra damsel. That is a very nostalgic fish for me and a yellow line cardinal. And he doesn't seem to bother either one at all. Doesn't like, does basically shows them no interest. We give them um, some hermits. Dead fish, he'll accept, dead shrimp. I haven't had the heart yet to put another live shrimp in there. What else is coming for Reef Casa? We have our food, March's Secret Coral Sauce. Dun, 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 dun. You can grab it on our site. And I'm gonna, I'm developing a little feeding kit. So it'll come with this, with a measuring spoon, with some syringes, some feeding device, and something to mix it in, just to make it like a little nicer. Instead of just like, here's the food, you know, take a teaspoon and Tupperware and figure it out. No, I wanna make it like a little uh, gift box set that comes in our uh, signature bamboo case like this one right here and then inside of that with special instructions and a syringe and just like almost like a gift set because I really love feeding my coral a lot of people ask me how do we get our a cans looking so puffy like these ones right here and it's really feeding 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 and if you don't believe me go watch any Tidal Gardens video because I think he mentions many times that one of the most under appreciated important aspects of keeping coral is feeding. I think a lot of people don't feed it and I'm saying feeding a lot of times because I like to eat. So feed your corals, that's all I'm trying to say. And I want the gift set, this box thing, to really embody that idea of the, you know, each head, each mouth, each polyp, I don't know how many ways I can say it, is essentially a mouth with Duncans, with favias, with zoanthids, with acans for mushrooms. Cinaria is like one big massive mouth. Hammers and torches, they all have an opening. They all accept food. They all eat and they're constantly eating out in the, in the oceans, in the wild. In a tanks, I think a lot of that feeding just gets um, forgotten. So that is the whole idea behind the food, the coral curry and that new um, gift set. We have our power bars on the way. What else? I have a couple other cool things coming. The squeegee. The squeegee that I was inspired with from Korea. And I think there's one more thing on my idea board at home. Boom. Two new models. I think that's it. I think that's a pretty good vlog update. I think I've talked enough. I think my tongue is starting to hurt. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that we see you back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.